hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the functionality to our vehicle so that when the vehicle hits some zombie then that zombie will eventually die so for that open up the vehicle controller and we will do the same thing as we did for the rifle right here as we did in the raycast so copy all of this raycast code from there and get inside the vehicle controller right here at the bottom let's create a function by the name of hit zombies in here what we will do we will simply paste that okay and now we need these variables shooting range this will be basically changed to something else for example hitting range okay let's come right here let's copy this from there in the vehicle controller let's scroll up after this create a header by the name of vehicle hit variables paste that let's change this to click on this change all occurrence and it will basically change this one as well okay so we will change this to for example hit range okay and the hit range will be let's just say 2 and the vehicle will give a damage of the whole player health which is 100 okay so let's create this variable at the top give damage of this will be equals to 100 f and at the start let's say public root give damage of or actually you can make this private if you want and after this let's remove this object okay because we don't want to hit that object with our vehicle we just want to hit the zombies let's remove this code as well and let's add a reference to our gore effect so at the top right here we can actually copy and paste that from here okay and also we want to add a muzzle spark and actually this will be changed to something else for example hit spark let's copy this let's scroll down whenever this function is called we will play the hit spark but for now let me just uh, remove that okay and let's leave the core effect for now okay and we need to provide the camera from where the vehicle will damage the zombie so copy that from the rifle or actually you can create it by your own just simply type public camera cam okay add a reference to a camera and then just simply save the script right here now we need to create a camera for this vehicle let's name this as the hit point let's move this hit point right right here I don't know why where is the camera pointing okay here is the camera let's rotate the camera on 180 now okay now we are inside the vehicle this middle point will be the hit point okay and then whatever we hit we'll show it right here 
let me change this view to for example 70 okay now click on the vehicle add this to the cam hit range will be 2 right here we need to provide the core effect from now let's just simply add the core effect and if we click on this let's remove this audio listener from there and also from the other cameras as well so let me select all of them and remove this from there that's it let's get back to the script which is vehicle controller okay now we have the functional fully working now let's call this function when we are only inside the vehicle okay make sure to add call that and also we when we kill the zombie we want to deactivate the collider of that zombie but first let's just test it out and then you will know that why we need to deactivate the collider okay so just call the function in the update where when we say that when we are inside the vehicle now let's play the game and now let's get closer to the zombie and as you can see it shows zombie and it shows the blood effect as you can see now the zombie just disappeared but as you can notice right here that whenever we hit the zombie our vehicle just stop and when the zombie is still in the scene our vehicle can't move forward and when the, when the zombie disappeared okay from the hierarchy then our vehicle can go forward okay so that's why we need to remove the zombie collider when we hit it with the car and we already uh, disable the collider for the any game object so right here we can copy this and actually the logic will be same as this one but just it has the box collider and on the zombie it has the capsule collider so just paste that code right here and instead of the box collider type capsule collider and instead of the game object we will type zombie one dot get component and dot enable will be set to false and let's do the same for the zombie 2 here is the zombie 2 so when the zombie 2 takes the damage then we want to disable the zombie 2 capsule collider save it get back to unity here is the vehicle now let's play the game and you will see the fun okay now let's run towards the vehicle let's sit in it let's run over some zombies as you can see okay we didn't it run over that one now as you can see it run over this zombie and as you can see now the collider is disabled and we can run uh, on top of the zombie now let's simply hit the other zombies as well we need to make the camera view a little bit bigger so that the vehicle can hit the zombies Okay, let's I think let's move this 80 now okay let's play the game and see how it will work in 80 Here is the zombies. Okay, now in 80 it works fine. And as you can see, we run over the zombies now. 
so make sure that field of view for the hit point of the vehicle is 80 that's it now our vehicle can also run over the zombies and with this our vehicle controller is fully completed if you guys have any questions then you are feel free to ask and if you didn't get what we did on the vehicle controller we just created a function and in there we use the same Reka system as we did for the rifle and for the zombies okay we just change some variables for example this hit range we change this from the shooting range to hit range that's it and the only thing that we are doing different right here is disabling the capsule collider of the zombie okay and then the other things are similar you can see the variables right here and here is the code so with this done catch you guys in the next video